Hi, I am Ratna and today we shall discuss a very interesting chapter in the, in the book. It is Mrs. Packletide's Tiger by Hector Hugh Munro. Uh, as usual, when we talk about this lesson, we will first talk about the author, then we shall talk about the story. What is the story about? Then we shall do a brief summary of the story. After that, we shall do the lesson in detail, wherein I shall explain every line in detail with the word meanings, etc. Once we are done with that, we shall then talk about the character sketch or the character traits of some of the important characters of this lesson. Finally, we shall do the probable questions and come to the end of the lesson. Hector Hugh Munro. We are now talking about the author. He is, yes, Hector Hugh Munro. Hector Hugh Munro was born in Burma. Now it is called Myanmar in 1870. Initially, he worked as a journalist and then gradually he took to writing short stories. You know, he made a big name by writing short stories and he wrote under the pen name Saki. That was his pen name. So, whenever you come across a book or a story written by Saki, you know it is Hector Hugh Munro. He was considered a great master of short stories. And most of his short stories, interestingly, are a satire. What is a satire? A satire is when you kind of make fun of certain norms that are existing in society. So, most of his stories are a satirical commentary on Edwardian society. Satirical commentary on Edwardian society. So, basically his stories are funny, witty, they are sarcastic and they are always aiming at the hypocrisy, you know, at the double facedness, the hypocrisy of characters in society and about certain hypocrisy of culture. So, his stories are witty, sarcastic and they aim at the hypocrisy of people in society. He brought, he, uh, incidentally, he was brought up by his three aunts. So, three women bringing up a small child. So, he must have found a lot of funny things in them and many of his characters, you know, in his stories, interestingly, they, you know, are very much like his aunts. Now, let us now talk about the story. It is Edwardian society. So, how, what is Edwardian society? A society where people wore, you know, clothes that were long and covered, not like what they wear today. People who were very conventional, you know, old fashioned. They were very rigid in their views and they gave a lot of importance to pomp and show. They did things, you know, not from their heart, but rather to impress people. So, Edwardian society had many evils, many hypocrisies in it and in this story he brings out one such hypocrisy. Now, this particular story, Mrs. Packletide's Tiger, is it is set in the in colonial India. What is colonial India? It is about that period where the British ruled in India and we had a lot of Britishers, you know, English men, English women living in India. India was a colony of Britain, as you know. Now, here he wants to ridicule some of the pretentious nature of the people of that time. So, what is he doing in the story? He is ridiculing the pretentious nature of the upper class of Edwardian society. The author draws our attention to Mrs. Packletide. Mrs. Packletide is a lady belonging to the upper class very Edwardian and a hypocrite. She wants to shoot a tiger. Now, she is trying to impress and how? By hunting, by shooting a tiger, not because she wants or has a passion for hunting, but to impress people. 
why to impress people because one another lady one mrs luna bimberton had uh, had made a great impact on society when she flew in a plane uh, you know piloted by an algerian gentleman or uh, algerian pilot so the you know everybody was talking about mrs luna bimberton and it was all in the papers and mrs packletide didn't like it she wanted to be in the limelight so she decided to shoot a tiger the entire story is such a satire on you know these women who are such big show offs now throughout the story the way the author has portrayed the way the author has told us about mrs uh, packletide we don't like her she comes ac across as a you know not a very nice character in the end her companion her uh, you know companion mrs mebin she was like with her she brings out how gullible how foolish mrs packletide is and that we like so it uh, uh, you know in the story it enables us to dislike mrs packletide and finally when her gullibility at the ha hands of a paid companion is brought out we can't help applauding we are very happy we feel good justice has been done okay now let's talk about the summary of the story in short what is the author trying to tell us mrs packletide is portrayed as living in colonial india and we've already discussed what is colonial india it is india at that time and it was a colony of the british now she was overcome with the strong desire to shoot a tiger why because not because she was adventurous not because she had a passion for shooting and hunting but because luna bimberton who incidentally happened to be her rival had taken a flight had flown in an airplane piloted by an algerian pilot so you know in those days it was a big thing to fly in an aircraft today every tom dick and harry fly every tom dick and harry you know can take a flight but in those days since she took a flight with an algerian pilot it was considered a very brave act a lady being so brave as to fly in a aircraft you know it was something that people were in awe of so she, mrs packletide had to take away the attention from mrs luna bimberton so she had to do another act of bravery courage and it was very courageous to hunt because it was again hunting was more like a man's uh, sport not a lady's though a lot of women also hunted but it, if a woman hunted she was supposed to be very brave and courageous so mrs packletide decided to shoot a tiger now after shooting the tiger what does she want to do one take out the tiger's skin and lay it out show it to people when people would come to visit her they would see the tiger skin on the floor and they would know she was a brave woman who had hunted a tiger and two she wanted to give a present to luna bimberton what the tiger claw so she wanted to outshine who luna bimberton and what did she want to do she was wanted to obtain a tiger skin and display it ostentatiously ostensibly you know in a, like a big show off she want to sh she wanted to show off the tiger skin so that people would know that she had hunted a tiger now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only download bright duty app from play store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10 Bright duty courses are available for the subjects of math, science, social science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright duty follows three step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, 
टॉपिक वाइज ऑनलाइन एम सी क्यू टेस्ट प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट्स एंड चैप्टर वाइज क्वेश्चन बैंक आर अवेलेबल विद सोल्यूशन इन एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स सैम्पल पेपर्स एंड मॉडल टेस्ट पेपर्स आर अवेलेबल विद सोल्यूशन साइन अप टूडे ऑन ब्राइट ट्यूडे एंड अवेल योर कोर्सेज एट अफोर्डेबल प्राइसेज